coming out, white, looked like smoke. In fact, I think it was dry ice from the cars. They've been very concerned about temperatures of the engines here, and by packing the radiators with dry ice, we saw a bit of it come out as the cars braked for that Adelaide hairpin on the first lap. They kept the engine cool. But great start from Rubens Barrichello. That really was terrific. He's not used to being fifth on the grid, but to capitalise on that by getting up to third was superb. Mika Hakkinen was charging hard, and uh, we're coming alongside now, having a look at the inside of... Uh, of that uh, Schumacher, I think, there. It's Sean Lacey and Johnny Herbert. There is Johnny Herbert, and he's spinning, spins out. Johnny Herbert spins out from sixth position. I didn't see any contact there, but Johnny Herbert is out of the race. He's being pushed away, and there's nothing he can do about it because he stalled his engine, and you're not allowed to have a push start. Here is a replay. Now, was there a contact? Yes, indeed, there was. Alesi's left front wheel touched Johnny Herbert's right rear wheel and because of that and the momentum of the Ferrari who is avoided by his own teammate Gerhard Berger has passed both of them I think went Martin Brundle there's a replay of the spin again and so John Alesi trying very hard indeed maybe a bit too hard understandable on his home track and now we're on lap four out of the 72 lap French Grand Prix we're riding with Michael Schumacher